Um, all the plants I'll just give you a small briefing while I'm here. I haven't done a video on my 150 gallon for a while pretty much for a long time been really busy so a few plants if you can see that's the Amazon so one in the back is red hygrophilia or something like that that's what they call it um, anyway that's a big java fern over there and uh, crypts right in that corner some here some on this corner as well there's another sword in the back um, that's a tall one actually um, it was it wasn't doing really well but just recently started to just uh, uh, you know give out those uh, new new leaves if you could see the leaf that I'm actually showing you at the moment the one in there the light green one see it's pretty much uh, just has only one hole in it basically and the reason is actually with the holes is that um, on the leaves if you could see you see right on the back sorry guys I'm just shooting this video from my phone like see got some holes on the leaves and even on this one here now this is mainly due to lack of potassium now what happened was uh, last week uh, yeah last week uh, actually I've been too busy these days and I forgot to keep an eye on the CO2 tank and my CO2 tank ran off well, of CO2 and uh, luckily I saw it and it was just pushing the last bit out of the tank but then since I was busy I couldn't replace the tank for a week almost about eight days and um, the changes within the eight days is massive like you know I didn't uh, so what I did was I switched off the fertilizer because if you have just fertilizer coming into the tank and you got the light in but no CO2 the plants are not going to consume it anyway because that has that doesn't happen so it's gonna create more algae in my tank so what I did was I just switched off the uh, uh, fertilizer fertilizer in you know, automatic fertilizer system so I've switched off that as well so basically this is the result uh, of course this plant had um, holes on the leaves for a long time but one in the back it was doing really well if you could see the holes on there on the top leaves and uh, right there in those back one as well so yeah a few holes in there that's that actually came out because of you know the lack of fertilization for one week and the other thing with the plants here is, is it can you see there's uh, the green spots that's on the leaf like if it's clear for you now like you know kind of greenish spot thing you know so it's it's called spot algae that comes on the leaves um, you can see a few on this one here as well and then on the java fern too now that's mainly due to lack of co2 now when, when there's lack of co2 algae started starts building on on the leaves so um so so all these the, the lack the co2 tank running out of uh, co2 actually has caused a big problem in my tank but it's rectifiable because my co2 is back running working because so i've replaced my tank with actually I replaced with a bigger tank now uh, that's a 3.5 uh, kg CO2 before I had a 2 kg you know just to make sure it lasts a uh, longer and I also have increased the rate of CO2 just to make sure you know just to catch up with whatever has gone and uh, the plants to just get rid of all these green spots on them you know the algae so um so So that's about it guys, that's just a small uh, intro after a long time on my 150 gallon. So I'll just give you a wide angle view of my tank, that's how it actually looks so far. Not too bad I think. I've got more uh, red hygrophilia growing, I think I'm spelling it properly. Those ones I'm not sure. Anyway, those scientific names. Um, growing in the back more is just too short at the moment so once it's uh, back uh, once it's actually grown and uh, fully grown up to the you know tall it's gonna look really great I've got to put some green ones in the middle too just to differentiate so that would actually give a better background so that's what I'm thinking of maybe when I get a time this weekend or next time I'm gonna plant some green um, agrophilia 
or whatever that is actually I'm sorry I, I'm not, I, I think I'm not spelling it properly anyway the main reason was the, the flowering thing on my sword it's just amazing it's come out of the tank and I just took it out actually because it has no more space to uh, come so basically it's gonna come out and it's gonna flower soon I'm gonna love that uh, it's one of the most exciting things uh, on my tank so far um, foreground it's doing well just a few um, dwarf sags here and there uh, it's getting there you know it just might take a little bit time to spread through but uh, the runners are coming out you could see you know um, if that's clear enough here yeah. so those are the small runners you know around there if you could see if you could spot them there are a few just coming below the <laughs> gravel actually it's just finding its way to get out um anyway so i might have a good update of my tank very soon for you guys you know uh, with all what's uh, what's happening around what i've done so i've put in a fertilization system as well it's actually diy which i was actually talking about a long time back i've done that one too so autumn the i'll show that for you at the moment that's where if you can see three tubes um, coming out just by the filter uh, output um, it's it's actually those are um, the fertilizing fertilizing unit so that's where it comes out and just comes out near the output of the uh, filter so just to make sure the fertilizer is being pushed around throughout the tank because um, yeah it's got you got more power around there there's a lot of water flow water uh, agitation around that place so it's good so I'm really happy about my tank I, I hope you guys do like it as well um, if you guys have any comments or questions about what's um, about this tank please do leave it in the comment section I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible I'm really loving it guys uh, you know it's just amazing thank you so much for all of you guys out there supporting my channel you know look checking out my videos and just trying my best to you know just post more videos as possible especially with the fish tank here being busy um check out my channel you know there was more videos out there keep updated uh, just you know just just ask more questions for me you know i probably might be more um motivated i should say motivated to produce more more, more videos for you guys um regarding uh, anything to, to do with the planted tank or fresh water with the fishes or you know even for the setup anything like that uh thanks for watching guys um it's amazing and you guys have a great day. See you guys around later. Right, cheers, bye-bye.